What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Detroit Become Human, trying to platinum it. And as you can see by the flowchart, Hank is hostile. So we are good to go, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, the issue was, I spent an hour after I recorded that episode trying to figure it out because I played through and I did some stuff and it didn't work. And uh, I figured it out. So when we entered the warehouse here, it reloaded my previous save from all the way back, all the way back to my first playthrough. And so now I needed to consequently replay the Eden Club and, uh, and get to the warehouse. And so now we're going to shoot the Deviants in cold blood just to make Hank hate us a little bit more. So I feel like I've seen this stupid cutscene right here a million times. Don't move! I almost feel like I know what buttons are coming up before they even come up. I think coming up is circle, triangle, square. Circle. Oh, it's X. Square. Down. And then circle. Oh, I forgot about R2 and then down to avoid the knife. There's the triangle. Oh, let me stop commentating on like that. Oh, <laughs> uh, this one we kicked the card out in front. Oh no, this is the shelving first. Shelving units and then down to throw it. Oh, it's a oh, It's down. Now it's down. See, I haven't quite gotten it perfectly figured out, but we're close. To have this mess. I think I played this specific part of this like four times, five times. My straw and my cool lime refresher. It's really loud. Quick, they're getting away! Oh crap, gotta tap the X button. Alright, but like, listen to this. I don't even know if you guys can hear it. I wanna fail this and lose anyway, so. I don't get why it's so loud. It, it's just when I'm like taking a drink and you know you bend that straw just a little bit. I need to get hit by the trash can. Hit me with the trash can. Bam! Oh, well, I guess we're shooting. I thought. If she hits you with the trash can, I don't know, maybe you have to just fail the entire thing, then you're just sat there on your ass. I don't know, he's hostile, it doesn't really matter. Why? Why did you kill her? It's what had to be she done. She had nothing to do with any of this. They all say... When that man killed that Tracy... Okay, I'm sorry, you're gonna I hear a little clicking. I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her.
Okay, so there we go. Now we just have to replay the mission with Kara. And we should be good. Should be good is the key word. If this doesn't work, I'm launching myself into the next century. I had to take I took a break after last thing because I was partially tilted, so. a shower and whatnot, got some food, or got, got a little snack, not really food. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't eat any humans along the way. Why won't it let me pick it? What the heck is that? It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. All right, let's do this. Pop it open. I guess it is. Pop the truck. Or pop the hood. Alright, start talking. I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here. Except Pirate's Cove. Over there. This looks like it had been an awesome amusement park. We need to find shelter. Like we have to get out ass. of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Just do the shortcut. This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Right here. Luther. I tried to, like, explore this area, and you really can't. I wish you could. Luther. There we go. So in terms of something to talk about, um, I was out last night and I got bit by a mosquito like on the inside of my nose. Better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. And it's the weirdest shit ever. 
it doesn't itch like a normal mosquito bite, but like I can tell it's a mosquito bite. And I mean it itches some, but it's not like anything crazy. It's like just like on the I don't know, like you know that like line of your nose around your nostril. It's like just on the inside of that. It's really weird. I gotta create stuff for us to talk about because we don't have anything to talk about because we've already played this. And we just played it like 30 minutes ago. Alice? I'll make the fire here. That As in 30 minutes, I mean out. like one episode ago. Okay, what? Alice shouldn't be... Uh, she's, yeah, she's distant. That's the correct. In this playthrough, she's distant. Do you think we'll be like them someday? I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. As long as we're together... Okay, she's up to neutral. Let's get you to bed. Okay, that's how you skip checking Luther's bag. Not that that's a long thing, but... Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Xbox's volume is on. Can you tell me a story, Cara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then she met a robot who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... They were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met... A gentle giant. Who promised to protect them? How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Get yes. over there, Luther. Yes, of course. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Luther. She's a sweet girl. Yes. 
She's very brave. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. You better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara. Have you ever... noticed anything? About Alice? No. What do you mean? Where's the defend Alice? Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. I didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? I don't think she's in... She should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Alright, we're almost done with this. Let them get walked out. Took only 18 minutes, you know. But we're getting there. Be our guest. All right, turn that bad boy on. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Here we go. Can we get Hank to shoot us this time?
All right, Hank, cooperate, please. Hostile. Hank is hostile. We got it, baby. All right. I was a little tilted, but uh, I'm happy we got this. Hello, Hank. It's time for you to blow my brains out. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? It's personal questions, stop drinking, um, system, cold, 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 something, nothing. I don't know what the something is. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some, Link. So, sis, I think it's software. Could be a software problem that only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. I'm impressed. I am impressed that, you know. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? They were so... They just wanted to girls. love each other. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Alright, cool. Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human. But I'm not human. But what are you really? I'm an android. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. <laughs> Hey, Hank. I could kill you. Come on. Come on. Pull the trigger, just Hank. Just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Nope. I want you to kill me. You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing. Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I'm throwing what? my controller at the wall of it. <laughs> Shoot me! There would be nothing. What? Oh, yes! Let's go! Thank you, Hank. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I'm hyped. Who mission accomplished? Just a machine. Trophy earned. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. We figured it out. We fixed it. 
And now we can head on to Stratford Tower. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.